Hey everyone, here's a short video uh, detailing some information about my uh, self-contained air forging hammer. This is made by a company called um, Stan Forging Tools in Anyang, China. Uh, there's the tag there, it says ST um, Anyang. It is a C41-15, meaning a 15 kilogram hammer, which means the ram weight is uh, 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. It has interchangeable dies. Um, these dies are held in place with these keys and they are really firmly in place. Uh, you can knock these keys out and uh, change the dies. The body here, the main body is extremely, uh, it feels extremely heavy duty cast iron. Feels like some old piece of naval equipment. Um, it has a eye bolt at the top for lifting it around. I think this thing weighs close to a thousand pounds. Or at least the crate said 620 kilograms. Um, it's got a remote on off switch on a pedestal. Uh, it has mounting holes in the plate at the bottom for it to be mounted to the foundation, which is indeed something that I plan on doing. Um, it's got a foot pedal for control. And this thing is very, it's, it's really sensitive and I'm still learning how to control it. Um, anyway, you push that pedal down, it pushes the upper linkage. Uh, you also have a hand handle there. Here, I'll turn it on real quick and show you. I understand it that's a uh, 300 beats per minute uh, that's the rate that it currently hits with I'm gonna put a piece of wood there to hold it in place um, it has the oiler system on the side uh, with some windows to see your fluid levels and a little bubble window there to see the rate at which your oil is being fed into the system you can see the number of drops that fall there and there's a certain number of drops per per second or every six seconds or so that you're supposed to have a needle valve controls that oil runs back into the hammer body there <clears throat> so there's the main hammer it's got the uh, scale catcher basin there at the bottom um, a lot of my tools in the shop are red so uh, you see my treadle hammer there, a belt grinder, and now the uh, forging hammer is uh, all red. I did get an extra set of dies. I have the uh, combo dies, flat and uh, fullering. These need to be radiused. They are sharp as razors right now. So I'm gonna have to radius, uh, radius those ed edges. Um, die uh, key stock there for holding those in place, extras. It came with a set of floor anchors, or redheads, some people call them. Um, stuffing box parts and extra seal pieces. Uh, a good manual uh, that's in uh, very readable English. Lots of diagrams, pictures, tips, troubleshooting tips and whatnot. Uh, again, uh, these are the flat dies that, are, that came with it. And these probably need to be radiused a little bit as well. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning how to control this thing. It's extremely, um, it's very sensitive. Um, I think I, I posted another video of me closing a matchbox uh, using just the, uh, the pedal there, putting the matchbox in place and just pushing the matchbox cover down and not even knocking the matchbox over. Um, it, it's, it's really controllable. I'm really impressed with it. I'm really happy with it. I've got a lot, of learn, a lot to learn about it, uh, a lot to learn about how to forge under it, and um, I'm certainly looking forward to that. It's going to really allow me to, uh, I think, do some things faster and more efficient. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a bunch.